Would you ever fly an airline you've never heard of before? Because according to Google, Lynx Air is considered to be one of the world's newest airlines. But will this mean that they're gonna be good or will they actually be horrible? And since I'm always up for an adventure, I'm gonna be flying Lynx to see what they're really like. But the reviews are slightly concerning. Apparently rude staff, dirty planes, and lack of communication were all things people complained about. And despite a few positive reviews, the overall consensus wasn't great. And as always, since it's 24 hours before the flight, the first thing we're gonna be doing is the check-in process. But this time, something weird happened. So right off the bat, the first thing I had to do was put in my booking reference and last name before being brought to the trip summary. After that, I had to answer the usual security questions before being brought to the seat selection, which I decided to skip since it would have costed extra. Anyways, after that, it brought me to the page where you could buy extra add-ons, but I again decided to skip this because it costed more money. And eventually I was able to complete the check-in, but the only problem was that I couldn't download my boarding pass. So hopefully when I get to the airport, they'll be able to do that for me. But in the meantime, we have a slight issue. And that's because Lynx primarily flies out from the other side of Canada. So I booked a flight on Canada's cheapest airline to cross the country. And after a night's sleep at an airport hotel, it was finally time to see what Lynx was like. All right, so finally, after traveling all the way across to the other side of Canada, today is the day that we're finally gonna be flying Lynx. Now, I'm actually super, super excited to be filming this video because it is unlike all of the other airline videos I have ever done. You see, normally when I film these videos, there are tons of reviews to go off of, from random people complaining all the way to credible news sources. But in the case of Lynx, there's actually no news articles about them, and the only thing there is are people complaining. Also, another thing real quick is that I never stay in airport hotels, and this one was actually insane. We got a full king-size bed, the airport is literally two minutes away, massive TV, and one of the most insane hotel bathrooms I have ever seen. And the craziest part is that I literally spent a hundred dollars on this entire room. But anyways, the airport shuttle is coming to get me in about five minutes, so it is finally time to head to the airport. So we just realized it is actually a semi snowstorm outside. So hopefully there are no delays and we actually take off today. I swear to God, every single time I do these videos, something goes wrong. Hello, mate. Hi. I didn't realize there was gonna be a snowstorm today. Even the forecast didn't realize. I know, I was looking on the weather app. I'm like, it says sunny this morning. Yeah, it doesn't say it. So after leaving the hotel on the shuttle, I made my way to the airport to recheck in. So hopefully things go better than online. Thank you so much. Have a good one. All right, this weather is definitely insane, but hopefully things go well today on the flight. Hi there. How are you today? Good, I was able to check it online, but I wasn't able to get my boarding pass. Would you be able to print it out for me by chance? Oh, sure. Thank you. Do you camera as well? I do vlogs, yeah. Do I you YouTube or something? Yeah, I do like travel videos and stuff. So like I fly just a bunch of different airlines and just see what they're like. Somebody like sponsor you for that too? No, I just do it myself for fun. <laughs> At least you're doing what you actually dream of. Yeah? So when you were trying to check in uh, online, what kind of problem did you face? I just wouldn't send me the uh, boarding pass. Like loading or some kind of error? Yeah, it was just like an endless like loading loop. So that was the only thing. So I was just a little concerned about that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. And the gate number is 62. Okay? Awesome. Have a good one. I don't know if it's just extreme luck or what, but the last two airlines I've flown have literally had the nicest customer service ever. I am starting to realize though that every time I do the check-in process, they're getting a little bit concerned about me filming, but surprisingly for the most part, they're all actually super chill about it. And another thing is that we managed to get a window seat. So after making sure the flight was still on time, I made my way through security and I was not prepared for what this airport was about to be like. All right, so that was genuinely one of the fastest airport security experiences I have ever been through. Literally from the time I got to the airport to through security was like 10 minutes. And I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to come two hours before a domestic flight because now I have nothing to do. So I think the game plan here is going to be find the gate and then we're going to explore this airport because apparently it is massive. And it looks like we are still on time despite the insane snowstorm outside today. So after I found my gate, I decided to explore the airport. And when I tell you this place was massive, I wasn't kidding. This airport had a bookstore, a toy store, a mini miniature museum and literally any type of restaurant you could possibly want to eat at. This wasn't all though because there was also an airport lounge which I definitely wasn't rich enough for and even a bar that doubles as a casino. Okay so I've never actually done an airport review in any of my videos before but this one gets a two thumbs up. Not only is the Edmonton airport literally massive and super clean but it also has seating with reclining chairs. I have never seen that in any airport.
airport before. And pretty much the only downside to this airport is they don't have a ton of these escalator thingies. I think they only have one in the entire thing, which means you have to walk a lot. But besides that, it is literally a 10 out of 10. I honestly wish Toronto's airport would be more like this one. But anyways, now that we're actually waiting for the flight, I thought that now would be a perfect time to tell you guys some facts about Lynx. So number one, Lynx is actually Canada's and one of the world's newest airlines, only being established in 2021 after being rebranded from a company called Enerjet. Number two, since Lynx is a new airline, they've only really been flying out of Canada, but starting this year, they're actually expanding into the US and Mexico, which is huge. And number three, Lynx is actually the smallest airline I've ever flown. They only have six aircraft in total, being the 737 MAX 8. Also, another thing I should probably mention is that even though Lynx is a small airline, it's actually really good that there's more airlines coming to Canada. Because pretty much the way our country works is there were three main airlines and the prices were insane. So finally, for the first time ever, flights in Canada are starting to be affordable. But the only downside is their prices are kind of crazy. For example, sometimes they could be $39 and in my case, this flight was 149 bucks. But at the end of the day, it is still way cheaper than any major airline. But anyways, it is now finally time to board the flight. So let's see if Lynx can be considered a good airline or if it's gonna be bad like some of the other ones I've flown. So with the snowstorm closing in, I decided to head towards my gate and thankfully the flight was still on time. Before getting on the plane, I noticed that there were no outlets and no food on the flight and I was slightly concerned they'd make me pay for my backpack since it was oversized, but luckily they let me board with no issues. Now remember earlier when I said I got lucky with the window seat? Well, after making my way onto the plane, I realized I was sat in the $21 section and when I got to my seat, I barely had any window, which was super unlucky. Right off the bat, I noticed that there was plenty of space for bags, both in the overhead and under the seats. And being 5'9", the legroom was also quite comfortable, but the seats were a different story. First off, I found the design to be very basic. And I'll be honest, they definitely weren't the most comfortable, but they also weren't terrible either. Now as for the other stuff, there was no inflate entertainment. The tray tables were pretty solid size, but sadly the seats had no buttons to recline whatsoever. So after settling in, we taxied for takeoff. And after getting into the sky, I decided to explore the rest of the plane. Right off the bat, what really surprised me was that the plane was incredibly clean. And even though they said they wouldn't serve anything, they did hand out free water, which no other budget airline I've flown has ever done. The next thing I did was head to the bathroom at the front of the plane, which was super clean with everything you'd need. And after heading back to my seat, I noticed the flight attendant sanitizing it, which I've also never seen on any of the other airlines I've flown. After that, I decided to check out the bathrooms at the back of the plane, which were almost identical to the front, but this time I noticed they had baby trays, which are super useful. But anyways, after that, I decided to head back to my seat when I noticed there was nobody sat in the emergency exit, which was slightly concerning, but other than that, the overall flight was pretty good. So now is Lynx a good or a bad airline? Well, to be honest, it was actually really good, especially for the price. And as long as you're okay with a little bit of back pain, I highly recommend it. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys go watch this one next, where I flew America's worst airline because it was insane.